Google acquired Stackdriver back in 2014, and the suite of operations tools in Google Cloud has come a very long way since then. Today, cloud monitoring is built right into the Cloud Console, and I'm here to show you how to set up and use monitoring in your cloud projects. This is the Stack Doctor. With the integration of monitoring features into the Cloud Console, you'll notice that the Stackdriver brand is gone, but the functionality you've come to depend on isn't changing. You'll still be able to use all of the features you're used to. Let's take a look at those and what's new. Let's start by selecting Monitoring from the Products menu. Instead of opening the Stackdriver UI in a new window, you get a new, better design UI right in the console. Note that you can still select or configure the workspace in this new UI. The concept of workspaces and using them to aggregate monitoring data across multiple projects hasn't changed. Workspaces and their host projects are still how you create and retain monitoring configuration data. Let's take a look at the core features of cloud monitoring. We'll start by setting up a VM and deploying a web server on it. From there, we'll install the monitoring agent, set up an uptime check, and configure a dashboard to show us the health of our new service. We'll put the link to the full steps in the episode notes so you can easily follow along. Start by creating a Compute Engine virtual machine by going to the Products menu and selecting Compute Engine. From there, create a new instance. You can leave most options at default. Once the instance is created, use the SSH functionality in the console to open a secure terminal session to your new VM. We're going to use this to do two things, install the Apache web server and install the monitoring agent. First, run sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get install Apache PHP to get the latest package versions and install Apache. Then run these two commands to download and install the monitoring agent. Now that the environment is set up, we're ready to configure cloud monitoring. Let's first create an uptime check that will monitor our web service and potentially notify us if there's a problem. From the Products menu, select Monitoring and go to Uptime Checks. Create a new one. You'll need to get the machine's external IP address to enter as a target here. Test the check before saving it to make sure that everything is configured properly. Note that this IP address is ephemeral by default and may change. You may want to assign a static IP address to this machine if this is a service with external users or consumers. From here, let's configure a dashboard so we can easily visualize the health of our small service. We can include charts showing us the availability and performance of our uptime check and charts showing us infrastructure utilization to get a complete picture. Go to Products, select Monitoring, and click on Dashboards. Then create a new dashboard. To add a chart showing uptime check failures, select Uptime Check URL as the resource and Check Past as the metric. Filter the data to just the uptime check you just created and use the count false aggregator to only show you failures. Once you save this chart, you can follow a similar process to add other charts to your dashboard. You might want to include a chart showing the performance of your service as reflected by the uptime check latency metric. You can also include charts showing resource utilization of your infrastructure. Looking at metrics like CPU utilization of your VM is a great place to start. One of the new features that's being made available with this release is the Dashboards API. You'll now be able to automate the creation of dashboards in your workspaces and generally automate more of your monitoring setup. We'll come back to dashboard and monitoring automation in future episodes. Once your monitoring is set up, you'll probably want alerted to get notified if the service goes down. Since we've already set up the monitoring, we can create a new alerting policy by clicking on it in the menu. We can set our uptime check as the resource type and set the metric to make sure that it passes, then set up an email notification. If you want to see more details on how to set it up, check out the link below to the earlier video we did on alerting. That wraps up our intro to cloud monitoring and our tour of its new integration in the Cloud Console. We created a service, configured a dashboard to show us its health, and set up alerting to let us know if it has any issues. You are now ready to start using cloud monitoring in your own environment. I hope you are as excited about the future of cloud monitoring and these new features as I am. That's it for this episode. Come back next time when we take a look at what's new in cloud logging. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there.